Hi there. So in last session, we learned about how to connect Monday to Google Sheet, how to update all the new items and updated item to a Google Sheet. Now in this session, we'll learn about how we can connect it up in the other way around. So connecting Google Sheet to Monday. So let's say, for example, if you're using Google Sheet as a Google form uh, backup, or let's say any of your um, shared Google Sheet, right? So any of the lines cell updated or even new row added, that should be updated as a new item into Monday board or that update should go into Monday as a specific update. So let's check out how we are going to work around the Google Sheet and Monday collaboration. Now for this purpose, we are using make.com and I'm going to create a scenario with you on make. So let's see how to develop the scenario. Okay. So once again, we are opening our Monday board. Uh, the Monday board we are referring is something called Monday leads, right? Uh, that board we have created. <clears throat> now within this board is lead management and we have two records here and this is the Google sheet that we are referring. So again, it's called Monday leads and two records are here as well. Now let's create the workflow around uh, this entire integration. So first of all, whenever you create a scenario, you will get this type of button. Now here you can add Google sheet. So Google sheet is a module or in case if you want to search from scratch, you can simply search for Google sheet. It will appear here. Now there are different triggers available from Google sheet. So let's say, for example, there is a new row added uh, in sheet that can be automatically captured into uh, into a trigger and this will in initiate the scenario. So it can automatically update the Monday board. Now, secondly, we can even watch changes. So changes can be up to a cell level. So in case if you want to watch a specific cell in Google sheet, for example, there is a column called status and or let's say honor assigned. So if you just want to check status or let's say that particular sale changes, uh, be on a change or status change, then only those updates can be triggered. And in that case, your Monday will be updated to the specific column value. Now, apart from that, you can even perform functions. So this is quite high level. Apart from that, we have so many other actions available. So add a record, update record, clear raw, or let's say delete raw, get cell. So many things are there, even search rows. So for example, if you want to initiate this entire integration, and you already have so many records available in Google Sheet. So you can simply go with search rows. It will list all the items, all the lines available in Google Sheet. And you can even put a filter or match criteria and then update those specific items at one time into Monday board. So let's say we'll go with uh, this one. So we'll start with search raw. So we already have two lines available over here and let me delete this Monday board, Monday part. So let's delete both the lines. Okay. So our Monday board is uh, clear now. We have two lines available here. Now we'll simply select the sheet. So I already established the connection in the last session. So you can just click on add and you can establish the connection. Now here, refer to sheet one. And it says, do you want to put any filters? So let's say I can put filters on any of the column available in Google sheet. So for example, country, email, phone number or something. So currently I don't want to put any filter as such. Uh, this ascending sensing and maximum number of rows to return. So here you can define, let's say if you have thousands of rows in your Google sheet, you can define a batch of hundred or 10 or 50, right? So I'm not defining anything now. Click okay. Now here we'll have to add Monday. So Monday is available here. Now we can set here is like add a column to board or let's say we are going to work with items specifically. So we can say create an item or create a sub item. So we'll go with create an item. Now in this scenario, we are going to put a little more intellectual part. So, okay, let me quickly put item name. So item name will be our lead name. We can select board ID. So board ID, either we can take it from, okay, I have to select this connection. Perfect. Board, ID, uh, board name, we can take it from lead management. And here it will show us all the groups and other things available. Now we can array of columns uh, can be uh, changed. So let's say, let's add an item. Let's start putting all our, um, all our values, right? So here we say column ID and let's map it to a Google sheet. So column ID is country. Now let's pick it country. Let's add another item that is email. So now email will refer from Google sheet email. So the good thing with make is this is quite straightforward. The entire visualization is there. You can add module by drag and drop and you can like simply map all the fields available across the modules. So you can map 
field available from any of the previous modules right so okay now let's say inquiry date so we'll update quickly the inquiry date as well so there are like eight to nine fields that i have created let's quickly add lead owner now here it says lead owner can be person or a team and in this case you can simply uh, choose that person's id or you can even map it so let's say i'll choose manish as the lead owner or this record owner <clears throat> then message so whatever message is available in that message cell or message column and put it here and finally few more so phone number product interested and in, uh, something more so let's quickly do it Once you're done with everything, so I'll fast forward this video from here. Let's put quickly status also, and status can be index or label. So I'll put index, and it's fresh qualified or not qualified. So I'll put here as a mapping itself. That's it. Now, so this is the entire thing what we have built. Now this can be a simple run. So if I run it now, it will update both the records. So there are two records available. Manish and Jawar, you said you saw this. and both records are updated in monday so here you can simply click on this it will show input and output so this record id is created this record is also created right let's go to monday board and we can see both the records are available here now let's quickly check so status is not qualified and qualified so let's say we can put it like qualified and fresh right okay now here uh, this was a pretty simple uh, two step scenario but in case if we are keep on running this in future so let's say we'll just have to remove this part or let's create a new one i'll i'll show you so let's say here now onwards we just want to watch for new rows or new row added to google sheet so here you can put like a watch module you can define which spreadsheet you want to watch so this can be monday folder and i'll take monday leads so this is a google sheet that i want to watch this table contains headers i'll select the sheet name and limit i can define let's say 100 records at a time i want to process now this is a trigger module actually so whenever this uh, there will be any data it will run according to a schedule and update all the new data into the scenario and will transfer it to monday now here we'll have to define first whether this any of the new newly added item is already available in monday so here what we'll do is we'll search for item based upon its column value so let's say here's a action called search item in the board by column values so here you can say i'll just choose my connection now we can define the board which board we want to search so it's lead management board and here column id to search in general email id is quite unique so let's search based on email so here we can put if uh, the email id is already available this will this module will return certain results right now once added let's do a trial run so does it just i'll move this trigger here and let's run the scenario so we got two items back so the search was manish adam square and jair adam square and both the items are returned so yeah the both item exist in this now in that case we'll have to put a router so router is like something where you can define if there is a if else condition so if item already exist it should go to one route doesn't exist it should go to the new route so here again we'll put uh, monday and we can say this will be create an item so we already use this module here i just copy or clone it from here and i'll connect it now secondly here again we use this and in this case now we are not creating an item if this item already exist let's go and update that item so let's go to items and <clears throat> so here we can say update a uh, column value of specific item or update the entire item so that's how we can use let's start with update okay so let's go with update column value of specific item here we can choose the board id again monday lead management we can choose the item id so in this case we don't have to refer item or select the item id from here otherwise this will be like just updating one single item 
instead of this we can simply go and map the item id from our previous module so here you can see there is an id available just map it because this is search result from previous module so let's add it and now here we can define what all column we want to update based upon each update comes in so let's say i want to update country and country i'll map from here itself so whatever value available in google sheet will update it let's say we want to update the email as well so email will also update and finally we can update the status as well so i'll take it as a label label i can map and is the status okay let's check quickly about this as well oh i have to remap so here also item name is something since uh, on this route we are creating a new item and here we are updating an item so if there is no result through this we'll update a new item so let's for example go here let's put the item name as a lead name itself we have chosen the monday uh, lead management board lead id and we'll have to quickly map all the values because we took this module from our previous uh, uh, previous scenario so we'll just have to update it quickly email is email and say inquiry date so let's quickly map everything from here lead owner is something we already assigned message let's map again so this is how it can make your life so easy uh, very quick you can do the entire automation stuff the status let's update as a label and label is something we want to map from our sheet so the status is also updated now uh, whenever we are, okay let me remove the previous one so that we can focus on just on the single one okay now we have to define a condition when this should go here and when this should go here so here we can define a condition that uh, if item id so obviously we are searching for this item and if item id does not exist then it should go here so let's say i'll say item id and because if this will not return any item if there is a new item fresh item comes in and that not already available within monday then it should follow this route if that item is available in monday it will return couple of item ids like this right so output one output two so we can follow this route so here so we can define it's a very basic condition you can put uh, so many other conditions as well i said item id exist go here fine so let's do a trial run and uh, let me delete all the four records from here whatever we had earlier so here we have two records uh, the thick both the leads and two data in our names one is status qualified and one is fresh now let's run the scenario perfect so our scenario is ready now so let's quickly watch so we have no items in monday board and we have two items in google sheet right now these are already existing items so let's say we'll quickly run this watch as a choose where to start and all the records we can pick and let's run it so it will first check items in monday and then it will go to create an item or update an item if already exist it will update if doesn't exist it will create new item let's go here so both the items did not exist so it updated two items and items are available here fresh qualified and both the names now in this case if we make any changes for example if we uh, make this country okay if we make this lead as this also qualified and this is not qualified right plus i'll also change the country so i make it uk and i make it india let's save it it may take a little while to get these changes populated on google and monday to detect but yeah in total since this is a watch so it it will run on a preset frequency you can define here right? like 15 minutes every uh, 15 minutes this should run so accordingly this will run in every 15 minutes now it will automatically check for these changes and will run for this time for this video i'll uh, not going to wait for 15 minutes so let's run it at our own will uh, no change detected yet let's retry okay one more thing we have a uh, set it up as a watch trigger so watch for new rows so it's sorry it's not going to trigger at all at this moment i'll have to create a new record so let's say i created a new line i said uh, this is a newton 
uh, there is a different date 25 this can be admin at m square dot pro here we can put some sort of mobile number this is usa and rest all everything is fine let's say this is a fresh date now we added a new record so this system should watch the new line here you can see it triggered for that new line it checked uh, nothing is available so total bundle count is zero and it passed that filter and finally it added the new line let's go to monday and you can see here nothing there's a fresh lead and this is being marked as a new record so that's how you can uh, put the basic scenario of uh, updating any google sheet or adding a new row to google sheet and that triggered to a item creation or update an item in monday so yeah that's it for today's uh, session in next session we'll cover how we can establish the uh, monday with some more other apps in case if you want to implement any of the monday automation for your clients or for your own business do let us know we can do this kind of a simple and to a very complex scenario as well so we can automate the entire process for your organization so please reach out to us our website name is called msquare.pro so you can simply go here and you can reach out and explore more about us right so there's a qu qu query form contact form just fill out this and our team will get back to you thank you very much